to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world is everyone doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am going to be finishing my Christmas decorating in this video today. And this is going to be a standalone video. I know that those of you who saw my community post and those of you in my Facebook group know that Chris and I got a new car and I will bring that to you on Monday. I will show you our new car uh, and I will answer any questions that you may have. And I'm not sure what else I'll do in that video. My target for my home tour is next Wednesday. So I'm hoping to have my home tour up by next Wednesday. Yay! Uh, but I do have a few other things to do before then just to, you know, straighten up and to make the house really pretty and to light all the candles before I do the tour and, and you know, do just a few other things to spiff everything up for my home tour. I would say that my home tour, my Christmas home tour is probably my biggest video of the year. So it takes me a little while to prepare for it, a little while to film it, and then a little while to edit it. So like I say, I'm, I'm shooting for Wednesday. Yes, let's hope. But, but so instead of bringing you a bunch of other superfluous stuff in this video, I really just wanted to finish out my series with this kitchen table centerpiece. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera here pretty quick. I hope all is well with everyone. It has been a crazy few days around here, what with us running back and forth to Richmond, and then it's just a big long story. So I will tell you all about it on, like I said, Monday. So hang with me till Monday on that note. Uh, but let me go ahead and turn my camera and we're gonna get started creating a, I hope, what I hope will be a very pretty, centerpiece utilizing the three lanterns that I have used for the last couple of years. So anyway, let me turn my camera and I'll be right back in just a second when I get situated. <laughs> Okie dokie, you guys, here I am back. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is this beautiful black Lazy Susan. Look at this. Chris made this this week. He ordered the, uh, the hardware for it or the Lazy Susan part of it for it from Amazon and he got the the circle of wood which is 24 inches around from Home Depot and he used a polyurethane stain on a black stain I do have a picture of it that I'll show you and I will try to find it for my Amazon shop and link all parts in my Amazon shop and I will entitle it Christmas lantern centerpiece for, you know, so that you guys will, will know where to go and look for it. That is what we decided to get to put these three beautiful lanterns on. Let me do a little explaining again. I have used these three lanterns the last several years here, right here on the table. And I have a, usually I put a, ta a red tablecloth on the table and I put a long doily uh, that had, that it was embroidered and that had, had it was kind of a, uh, embroidered and kind of crocheted uh, a little bit so that Chris could uh, put wires underneath the doily so that he could rig up all three of the lanterns so that I could just hook everything up to an uh, external battery and just turn it on and it would stay on as long as the battery held its, held its uh, charge. I right now have something else plugged into this external battery, which I will show you here in just a second. Uh, it has 98, 96%, you can see there. And so this, whatever I plug into this will stay on until this battery goes dead. And then we have to recharge the battery and so on. If you wanna know how to change fairy lights or these types of candles, which are the type of candles I'm gonna be using today into uh, ones that you can operate with an external battery with a USB charge, with a USB cable like this. Chris's Just, video is linked in the description box of every video I put up of how to how to transform anything that you would have to use batteries in to something that you could use a USB cable and put it into either a wall socket and plug it in all the time or into an external battery like this, uh, which I will link to in my Amazon shop. If it's, it's I know it's linked, but I have some of these linked in my travel uh boxes but i'll try to link one in this box too so that you you'll know right where to go to get one if you want one 
So uh, these lanterns came from Walmart. Uh, Chris again bought me, came home one day and he had bought me these uh, from Walmart. He saw them and he knew that I would just fall in love with them and I did and I have used them here on this table ever since. I also pull them out sometimes during the 4th of July and use them then. Uh, I haven't used them for uh, Valentine's Day, but you sure could, you know. They are very pretty, they are metal, they are heavy, and uh, two of them are smaller than the other one. This is taller, I don't know how tall it is, to be honest. And I don't know whether they have them at uh, Walmart this year. I believe they did last year, but I have not been to Walmart to be able to tell you. So I'll look and see, if, I, if you find a link, you'll know I found them. I do have this one lifted up just a little bit, just to give a little bit of interest. As you can see, this one's just a smidge taller, so we go tall, and then just a little bit shorter, and then a little bit shorter than that. And the way I did that was simply just to put two pieces of wood. Uh, Chris keeps me in wood in the garage like this, just pieces of, of, of wood of all different shapes and sizes that I use underneath things for risers. So I just pulled a couple of pieces this size out and just simply set the lantern on top of it. But this lantern, as you can see, kind of has an open bottom there. So we just set it right on top of there. And I think that wood will disappear when you see what I'm gonna do here in just a second. Uh, these bells that you see on the uh, lanterns came from And That, I believe, or the Christmas tree shop. And I just have one set on each, on each lantern. Now, what I'm going to put inside of the lanterns, and Chris will rig these up to be uh, battery, you know, charged on an external battery or turned on an external battery. For, For the purpose of this video today, I do have batteries in here. So I am gonna be setting these in just with regular batteries. Uh, I don't want anything else inside the lanterns i want them this the candle to stand alone and shine brightly in there just like that i'm not going to put anything around it and you'll see why here in a second so but anyway i'm going to put one of these candles in each lantern and as i said chris will rig them up and all three will come on and shine on this table until we need to recharge an, an external battery and that will be fine and dandy but i love these snow globe candles i got these from uh, Lowe's, I believe. And they've had them for several years. I do not know whether they have them this year. I will check, though. And if they happen to have them on Amazon, I'll link them for you. But you might have to go to Lowe's to, to check out in their Christmas, Christmas shop. I can't get that to go down. My hands are super sore today, you guys. I don't know what is. I'm just like arthritic or something. Like, and I'm thinking about making a couple of bows. This ought to be good. Okay, so there we go on the shorter lanterns. This one, I do want to lift the candle up a little bit, so I'm just going to use a little a little stand. I got this from Hobby Lobby, just a little white stand. If I had a red one, I would use red, but I don't have a red stand, so we're going to use white. And there we go. So is, that's very simple in design, but I think it it's really pretty. All right, so last year I had a double funky bow on the big, on the center lantern. This one set in the center. And this is the funky bow. I had this and another one just like it tied to the lantern. I am not going to use these this year. I'm going to put these away. They might get pulled out another year, but I did want to show you them. They are pretty, uh, but I, I'm going for a more simplistic look this year, if you can believe that for me, but I am. Uh, and I very well might make a bow for each little section here, three bows, just little round bows, but we'll see here. Uh, all right, now next, I wanted to show you, as you can see, I've got command strip hooks on here. And uh, we've got them strategically placed kind of between each lantern. And the hooks kind of come right to the edge, right to the edge of the, of the Lazy Susan. 
and you're gonna see what I'm gonna to attach to this in just a second. So I have a piece of garland, here we go, that we spread out the sprigs and I didn't use all of it. This was a nine foot piece of garland. We just kind of measured around it and figured out you know, how much we needed. And I wrapped it in fairy lights and I'm gonna do more to it, but I wanted to show you what we did to it so far. And these fairy light, the fairy lights and the external battery will be hidden. I'm not sure where quite yet, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of set it down in the middle. And I very might put, might very well might put some berries or something like that in the middle to camouflage this. So let me get this end up here. Like I said, for now, and Chris has already, you know, as I said, rigged this one up. I'm just gonna set all this right down in here. And and I, as I said, I will probably put something in there to camouflage the wires being fed back there. Okay, so all I wanna do is start attaching this garland to these hooks. See that? It's just gonna hook it on. I'm gonna hook the kind of the big stalk, if you will, to the hook. And we're gonna go all the way around and, you know, pulling it semi-tightly Hopefully it's gonna stay in place. There we go. And look at that. We have just enough. What I'm gonna do is take just a couple of sprigs and just wrap them around one another like this and hold it shut. You'll never know. And we'll probably be going, where did we start this thing? And again, I will camouflage the wires. I'm not exactly sure how or what we'll do, but some way or another, I will camouflage the, the wires going in there. So now what I wanna do is just kind of fluff some of this up. And down, pull some down too. And the next thing I wanna do is take some of my red berries. I'm kind of mimicking what I did on the staircase for this design. In, in the way in which I'm using regular, just pine garland, wrapped in white lights, and then I'm gonna snug these berries in. All right, so now I'm gonna take these the same red berries, and these are linked in my Amazon shop, but y'all, I do not know whether they're still available. I know several of you have purchased them, and sometimes when I say things, things go out of stock, but this is just a garland of berries that you can probably find in Hobby Lobby or in Michael's or, you know, anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is just snug the berries in and use two of the sprigs of pine and tie them in with the sprigs of pine like that. So anyway, sorry, I was telling Chris he was, he was gonna hang around here. He's gonna go out and blow leaves. He's gonna hang around because I don't think I can lift this to put it on, the, on top of the table. The point of us trying to make this this way though is so that we can move this off of the table. So I am not hindered with, you know, uh, uh, an arrangement in my way. I really wanted a way to move the centerpiece. And the way it was before, we really couldn't move the centerpiece. It was just too, uh, too cumbersome. And the way he had to rig up the lights and, and spread the wires uh, from one end of the table to the other, it just wasn't working. Whereas here, he will just be able to uh, put everything in the center and I can put like a tuff of berries or 
something, you know, there in the center to hide everything and it'll be fun, you know. And then we'll be able to move this, or he will be able to pick it up and move it. And uh, it'll work a lot better. So this is one whole garland, and I don't know whether one will make it. I have another one sitting here just in case I need another one. I had purchased a few extras this year. A couple of extras this year, and I had, a, had purchased a couple of extras at the end of the season last year. This is not difficult to do. Sometimes you have to put your patience hat on to get everything going the way, you know, the way my vision sometimes is. It's hard to bring to fruition at times, but I think we're doing okay this time. I am gonna need just a smidge more from this other garland here. There's the end of it. And this is where it started. So I think I'm just gonna need one little section here. And what I could do, let me show you, I've just got an idea. Start this here. Pine around a little bit. But I'm liking this, huh? Looks pretty. I've really been trying to take a little bit of extra time this year and really put together some, you know, nicely designed pieces. Uh, and this is one that I've really been thinking about. And uh, I love it. I love how it worked out. Okay, so I think that's gonna be really pretty. I'm sure when I get back at it, and Chris will be able to put his hands underneath this and lift, Chris can, not me. I won't be able to because this is super heavy, but at least he'll be able to pick it up and move it over to the dining room table or over to the island or in onto the living room floor or somewhere to get it kind of out of our way when we want to, you know, sit here and eat or entertain, you know? So, but I think this is really pretty. All right, let me move up. I'm moving the whole, whole table cover. Oh, that's heavy. Move it over there just a second. Okay, what I thought I could do for the middle there, why couldn't I just make a little, uh, like a little flower ring? Something that would snug down in there. Maybe about that big. some of these red berries and snug them in. Tie it together. Be very simply done. A tie wrap. A handy dandy cable ties. Snug it down. In there. Similar to that. And I can pull the berries out from either side. And then we should just be able to stick our hand underneath there, pull out the battery and recharge it and dug it up and, you know, plug it back in. So I think that might work beautifully, you know, 
to solve that little problem. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, now, uh, since I'm trying to mimic the staircase, I thought it might be pretty, I might not like this, but I thought it might be pretty. I still have some ribbon left that is from what I used on the staircase. So I thought it might be pretty just to do not huge bows, not with a whole lot of uh, loops on them or anything, but I thought I would just do maybe three like smallish little round bows. Just not big, just little little accent bows. Let me see what I can do here. What I did was turn it, turn it over toward myself or fold it over toward myself. Grab it from the side that's still attached to the to the ribbon roll and pinch it together. And be sure to overlap that piece there because you want to be sure to that when you fluff it that you're not going to pull it out. And then pinch it together and then twist and make yourself a center loop. Just to little round bows. Same, you're gonna come out and make the loops the same size as the one that you just did. And you kind of can pile them on top of one another. Kind of just very simple, simple bows. Just make a bunch of loops, you know. Just two little tails. Oh, let me do, let me do two more. Ah, let's just do six. Come down and grab it. And I don't want real long tails. Add that in. Get yourself a pipe cleaner, of which I don't still don't have any red, you guys. Oh, I have one red. Woohoo! There we go and uh, feed it in through the center loop there under your thumb and pull it around the bottom and the top and tie it together. I wanna cut that, I don't have scissors. Ah, I knew I forgot something, I'll be right back. Okay. Now because I don't want three tails, I'm gonna cut this up pretty, mm, I'm gonna leave it at three tails. We'll see. I might want three tails. That tail. Right like that. Turn it over. Do some quick fluffing. And then snug them in right like that, right between the three. I think that'd be pretty. Just to add a little something, something. Right where the three edges of the lanterns come together. I'm just, I'm just tying it right to the stalk of the berries, I believe. How cute is that? Just to add a little, and to bring in the whole design throughout, you know? I'm still working on this same design that I started working with last year, you know? And I think it's, it's still coming together over here. I'll 
I'll just cut these. Side up that way. Make that one a little short. What happened? I cut it wrong. <laughs> one up that way. And then we'll do a dovetail here. Cute, huh? Super cute. All right, I'm gonna make two more of those bows and get them attached. I think that looks really pretty right there. Love that. So I'm gonna make two more just like that. One for there and one for there. No, I don't want bows everywhere, but just, you know, just something to bring in the staircase and to bring in all the red berries and bows. And I really don't have, I have the two bows up at the desk there, but I really don't have any red velvet bows over on this side. So this is, uh, there's a method to my madness, you guys. All right, let me go ahead and make the bows and I'll get them attached. And then I'm going to be using this red tablecloth and let me go and get the overlay that I'm going to be putting underneath this. I had it laying in on the, on the ironing board. So this will be un right underneath that piece, but over the red tablecloth, and this will sit on top of it. So I think this is going to be super pretty, but I'm super happy with how this is working out, you guys. I'm really, really liking it. Really, really liking it a lot. Thank you. everybody I'm all finished oh my goodness I think I love it now I need to do a little tweaking with that little piece of go you know kind of garland candle ring if you will that I made that I stuck down in the middle I kind of need to fluff that out and make that look a little better but you get the idea you get the idea of where I'm going with that so I love it when a plan comes to fruition you guys I really do I I, I don't even know where this came from. It didn't, I'm not a Pinterest girl or anything like that. I just really was mimicking what we had created for the staircase, you know, and just wanted to bring it over, over to this side and onto the table. And I wanted to make a centerpiece that we could lift and carry off. Not that I could ever lift this thing. It is really heavy. So Chris, I don't think he's going to be able to carry it too far. Maybe just into the laundry room. I just thought of that. He can put it in there on the countertop in there or even set up a little table in there, you know, and and sit it down on the table in there, but somehow to get it off the table. But yet I wanted something large and in charge because Christmas, you need something large and in charge, right? Right. But I didn't want a bunch of parts and pieces, bunch of parts and pieces to move. So I think I accomplished my goal. <laughs> Yay. All righty, you guys. So I'm going to wait for Chris to come back in. He's blowing leaves. Wait for him to come back in and get the tablecloth on the table and get the, you know, the covering back underneath or over the tablecloth, but underneath this. And hopefully it will all come together and look the way I wanted it to. You might see it without this, I'm without this piece, but I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see what I can work out. I'm not sure. 
I've never tried it before. Bring this one to an end. So. Could I humbly ask you, if you haven't yet, to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click on the bell. It's free. It's free to do. Click on the bell so that you never miss a, an upload of mine and like it and then share with your friends and your family and pass the word. You know, if you think that I may have done something that they might like to see, you know, I would really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> I'm watching those numbers click up very slowly, but surely. So thank you guys so much. Thank you all for your commenting. I've been pulling questions. And as I said, I will get back with you on Monday with the questions and show you our new car. Uh, it wasn't an exorbitant purchase or anything like that, uh, but it's nice and I'll explain why and what why we came to the decision to get a new car. So, all right, you guys, I hope that you guys have a great weekend. I doubt if I'll be back over the weekend. Chris and I may be going down to Williamsburg a day just for a day trip, you know, and uh, just kind of trying to spend some time together before all the hullabaloo starts, you know, with uh, with uh, holiday visits and so on and so forth. So just trying to spend some quality time with my hubby. So I think that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. And uh, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and that you get to see those you love or who love you. Or if you don't get to see them, that you get to chat with them, FaceTime with them in some way, make contact with them. And when you leave them, whether it's at the end of a phone call or a FaceTime session or in person, give them a hug. Tell them you love them. Never let a day go dark without telling your husband, your loved one that you're living with, that you love them. And mean it from your heart. Don't ever go to, to bed angry. You know, never go to bed angry. My mom always told me that. But I hope you're able to tell your friends and family that you love them. So I hear Chris coming in. So I'll go into my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping in here today. I so appreciate every single one of you. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good good care. I might have video or pictures for you at the end. So stick around just for a few more minutes and see what we might have for you after I blow you my kiss. Y'all have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. <laughs>